Okay, this is my adventure called Back to the Pulse Motor. After the Bedini project which was successful, I kind of re-looked at the Pulse Motor project which preceded it. And it's another one of these little lid motor ideas running on a permanent magnet motor. But I rewired it in such a way that I've got a circuitry utilizing the collapsing coil to recover some of that energy, that radiant energy into a drive circuit on the permanent magnet motor. There's the whole circuitry. It's just a normal pulse motor circuit with some uh, 25 ohm rheostats to vary the voltages. And uh, some diodes and capacitors and stuff here and there. But uh, what the project was, was to use that solar panel right over there during the day to gather enough energy to charge that nickel metal hydride bank and that little battery there that goes into here and then during the night let the thing run on the stored energy and then um, during the daylight recover enough energy off that little 135 milliamp panel to make this thing run non-stop day after day as long as we had sunshine which here in California is is not a problem but anyway I'm going to turn this on and let you listen to it Okay, that's what it sounds like, just running here. Now I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to activate the permanent magnet motor circuit. You're going to hear that rev up. And that's as these capacitors charge up, that's feeding energy into the system through this uh, circuit right here. It's going round and round, and I get voltages here. They're around uh, pretty good voltages here on this collapsing uh, coil circuit that are enough to, during the day when the sun's out, to charge this battery up. So now what's happening is I'm getting a charge into this battery through the sun, especially if I turn this rheostat way down. And then uh, also the panel puts out enough that I can charge the nickel metal hydrides up. It's pulling a load right now, but there's my amps draw on this thing. And this is what I thought was pretty neat was this actually had lower amperage draw than the Bedini motor. That's 30 milliamps. That's what this thing is drawing right now. And like I say, I, the way I did it was I, I rerouted the uh, radiant energy collapsing fields in such a way that it's helping this thing go around. And uh, that all equated to um, a very low power drive which like I say during the day when I had that panel out was putting out more than the motor consumed which means I could store it up in that and store it up in that and then use those during the night to drive the motor but uh, I ran into problems and if anyone wants to give me some feedback on this there were several problems um, not enough went into there off of that 135 milliamp panel in five hours to make this thing go around and around and around day after day after day. It would go for a day and a half or sometimes two days but it would eventually run out of juice because that's a variable over there. You know That, that varies uh, every day depending on your sunlight but it still was an interesting experiment of course, also you run into problems too on this kind of arrangement with the brush wearing and of course the bearing wearing. This is not a very good motor bearing uh, situation. But um, anyway, that was the little project that I went back to. I call it back to the pulse motor. And there's the circuitry for it. If anyone wants to duplicate this, have some feedback, whatever. But uh, it's just a standard pulse motor circuit using a reed switch. The reed switch is right there. 
and that drives the uh, wheel and then it's tied in with a circuitry to run the permanent magnet motor and all this was for was to help out the pulse motor at night when the battery started going down is it kept the thing running and then I figured out I could capture some energy off the collapsing coil to help charge that battery. Anyway, that was something uh, I had a lot of fun doing.